Hey guys, it's Red Monster, and today I watched a video uploaded by Mumbo Jumbo, which is a Minecrafter who decided to make an ultimate hidden armory, which was a nostalgic kind of build that he recreated multiple times, and this was his ultimate version. So uh, I decided to kind of try to one-up it a little bit just because I know of many ways to advance what he did. Um, I like his design, don't get me wrong, <laughs> but uh, I just I just want to take a shot at it and share with you guys what you guys thought. So essentially, like he said in his video, no good hidden base has a button leading to it. So what we have here is Mushroom Steve, and if we throw anything at him, we'll be sucked down into our super ultimate hidden base. <laughs> and what we have is whatever we want. It's expandable in all four directions, so it could be bigger than this little base, but it's essentially three tall for right now until you keep going further out, you can go lower and lower. Uh, but we have an enchantment table that's capable of level 30 enchants. We have a crafting table. We have a redstone torch for some reason. We have Mushroom Steve and Mushroom Jeff. Uh, he had a double chest in his hidden armory, so I decided why not have 23. Uh, we have a semi-automatic smelting system, which uh, automatically refills the coal in it if you really want it to. Uh, we have this beautiful double couch right here. <laughs> Saw on Reddit is beautiful. Uh, semi-automatic brewing, which automatically refills the water bottles and stuff like that, and you could refill another wart using this dropper. And then uh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> but you can add whatever you want, really. Uh, I didn't actually add in uh, a whole armory part of it, but I guess that's what you can add those chests for. I don't know. Uh, but something like his, you can also go back up if you hit this button. Uh, these are all furnaces except for this one right here, which is a dropper, but it looks the same. So we can either put something directly into this hopper to go back up, or we can hit this button. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> now, another thing to mention is that uh, his was kind of limited to the fact that it's not so hidden if you're inside of it. But mine can be closed even from the inside, which just pushes up like that. So it's closed, and from the outside it looks completely hidden again. If we just hit this button again, boop, it's pretty beautiful. So I guess we'll just look at the redstone because it's not too simple. I mean, not too difficult. Uh, there's not a whole lot of redstone for all this stuff. Uh, this big green chunk is just the base. I just wanted to make it kind of big to show it off a little bit. But essentially all we have is a triple piston extender right here with a chain of slime blocks that's big enough to have a 2x2 two two platform, which it could be one by one. You don't really need that, I guess, but I just thought a 2x2 two two platform was pretty decent. Uh, and then essentially what the hidden uh, input is, is something that's kind of known I guess, but basically it's a hopper minecart sitting on top of some more hoppers and with that uh, I push a block into that hopper minecart with a piston and it covers it up like that, but it can still suck items in if there was still a hopper minecart there anyways. Um, so that's what that does and then that uh, is connected all the way down to this chest and this little logic gate right here that I'll explain real quick. Uh, essentially, the item gets pushed down here and then goes into this chest. And then through this chest, it also goes into this dispenser, or dropper, I guess, right here, which then gets pushed out into this right here, which you can also set up as a item sorting thing if you want to keep all your items, but I have it set up right now that it goes into the web and then just gets killed by the cactus, which is a lagless way, essentially, to clean out your stuff. <laughs> so. Uh, as the item goes down here, it also gets detected by this comparator for a couple ticks, and what that does is it turns off his torch and turns it back on. And what that does is allows for this block to be sucked down, this redstone dust to be turned back on after it gets turned off, which creates a model stable circuit that spits out this redstone block, which activates the triple piston extender. So right now, the system is closed, which means that the extender is all sucked in like that. But if we go ahead and put in an item like this grass block, it sticks the redstone block out there, pushes the thing out, extends them anyways, and then uh, if we just get another block of any type, we can suck it back down just like that. So it's pretty simple. I'm not going to really explain all the mechanics, but I will have a world download in the description. That was a scary noise, what the hell? <laughs> I will have a world download in the description, and you'll be able to put this into your own world and check it out if you really want to. Alright guys, and that's pretty much it for this video, so leave a like if you enjoyed this concept, and subscribe if you're new here, and I guess I'll see you in the next video.